Hey, Zidorug here, and today I'll be doing a review of the Deluxe Class Premium Bumblebee from the first movie toy line. So here he is in his 07 Camaro vehicle mode, compared to a soda can. That's essentially what you'd expect out of a Deluxe Class. His colors are, well, the Bumblebee colors. Yellow with black racing stripes, although the yellow does have a bit of a sheen to it compared to just a uh, flat yellow color. There are also bits of silver, translucent blue, black, and of course red, and just that little bit smattering of white. Uh, for, those who, for those who don't know, the premium series was actually a sub-series of Transformers from the first movie, where characters from the first movie were re had their toys re-released with more proper looks and colors and sometimes different accessories. For example, um, the original version of this guy, he looked pretty much the same as this, but he had a much duller yellow color and his robot parts were black instead of the, you know, sort of off gray we have here. And that's why I have this version instead of the other version. I like this better. He does have a few basic gimmicks, kind of, in this mode. He does, of course, have wheels, and they roll just fine. Even on this sheet, there isn't much to stop him, and his robot parts don't stick down too far, though his feet sometimes worry me. And, of course, thanks to the way he transforms, you can open the doors, and they secure, and they close very securely. It takes actually quite a bit of force to get that post out of that port. But of course, opening it really just shows off, you know, robot bits in there. And both doors can open. Uh, there's really not much else the vehicle mode can do. Uh, there's not anywhere to plug the gun on if you take it out of there or anything like that, but... Hmm. Not too bad. Uh, he does have an accessory, but it's stored right here in the vehicle mode. It's not anything that you can do much with in vehicle mode, so it just sort of stays there. Well, with that out of the way, let's go ahead and move on to the transformation. Well, the transformation is no surprises here. I think every man, woman, child, and vole knows how to transform this thing, given how many different versions of it there are. So let's just get into it. Pop the doors open like that. Separate the rear part of the car from the roof. Detach the roof from itself and just split it in half. Take these front sections and pull them out to the side until they lock into place. Swing the door and wheel cover section up like that, which on mine is really tight. Although the fact that this thing is 10 years old and that's still really tight is a very good sign. Just do the same thing over here. Bring the arms out. Flatten the windshield. And we'll move on down to the legs. Just split them. They just post into port there and just get the uh, gun out. It just holds on with these po uh, posts into those ports right there. Get that off to the side. Take this panel, swing it up, pull on the feet and the wheel, bring it down, and that will activate the automorph gimmick this line is famous for. Do the same thing over here. I'll just show it to you what it looks like from this angle. Why aren't you going? Oh, duh. Probably help if I fold this up. Now we can get this going down. I like to just peg them together momentarily to make sure that the uh, feet are level. So just get him to where he stands up straight. Let's raise this a little bit more. So to transform the chest, 
just take the front of the car and bring it down until it stops by colliding with the arms and then swing the arms back as far as they'll go and then bring all this down into place straighten the arms out except for one click so you can bring the roof panels back bring the arms around, or hands around turn these the proper way just get everything down and sorted same thing over here straighten except for one click bring oh hey come on bring it back turn I said turn it's really weird some joints in this guy are still absurdly tight others are loosey-goosey you know, we bring the sides of the front of the car up like that to make Bumblebee's now famous car chest take this panel on the back and it'll just sort of snap into place there and then just turn the head around and it'll pop off that's pretty much my biggest complaint with this with this figure the head simply doesn't stay on I don't know if it's the plastics too loose or what but the head just doesn't stay on anyway just turn the head around and there you have movie one premium bumblebee in robot mode so to kick things off on this leg here's his size to a soda can pretty average deluxe class size his colors are again basically what you'd expect mostly that goldish yellow paint um, on top of yellow plastic with some translucent blue black red and lots of dark gray plastic and a little bit of silver paint so again nothing too surprising for the bumblebee mold or the movie one bumblebee mold at least Now, one thing to note is that unlike the original version of this figure, this is actually Bumblebee with his battle mask down, instead of the version with his eyes exposed. As a result, there isn't any light piping in this version, which is fine. Now, as far as posability goes, it's alright. Uh, the arms are on ball joints and can go out to the side that far. They can move back and forth a little bit on a hinge there. And you can kind of move them here if you want to, but that's just more transformation. They can go all the way around on that ball joint. There is a swivel just above the elbow. The elbow can go that straight and, of course, can bend just under 90 degrees at, at that point. You can move this door panel however you need. The hands are on ball joints, so they can swivel all the way around. They can move side to side and in and out, but they are not articulated in any way. His head, for as loose as the ball joint is, can go all the way around, although it will most likely pop off several times. can look up and down, tilt side to side, and there is a joint in the body that lets it move back and forth. The body itself, if you get this up a little bit, can move up and down, tilt side to side, and move side to side, but all the car junk he has on him gets in the way. Legs can move forward all the way up for a nice high kick. Can move back that far. Legs can bend just under 90 degrees at one joint. Feet can tilt up and down and the feet can wiggle up and down so those abilities pretty good again just basically standard for the movie bumblebee mold even if it is a bit odd now of course this is this being the original version of the mold well sort of he does have his weapon which is based on the plasma cannon he used in the movie it's not terrible. It gets the basic idea across. Of course, there's this bar in the middle that you can just slip into his hand so he can hold it like that. Unfortunately, the 
ball joint on the right arm of mine is extremely loose, so he can't really hold his arm up at all. But he holds it very securely in his hand. And of course, it has the uh, blade mode, which I believe is based on some concept art from the first movie or something like that. Anyway, to get to that, you just have to separate these two panels. They just peg together with those two posts, bring it out, and that blade it will extend up. For some reason, the gears seem to be getting a bit weird on me. Again, he can still hold it with that same bar in the middle. And it actually sort of looks like a Qatar. I quite like it. I like Qatar-type weapons. And of course, it is possible to transform it with him holding it. He just sort of gets a little weird on you. Now, it's hard to notice, but there is actually, if it'll focus, a little bit of black paint. There is a little bit of black paint on the visor, just to sort of give some depth to the detail, which is nice. And that Autobot logo painted in silver. You can, if you can get your thumb and uh, get your nail in there or something, just get that out of the way. Uh, you can get this panel up and then raise it up a little bit just to sort of fill out the chest a little bit but there's so much effort involved that personally I don't really think it's worth it so I just sort of leave it down put the head back on but yeah that basically does it there's really not a whole lot to talk about with this guy that hasn't been done to death before pretty neat little mold does what it needs to represents the movie version well enough is but one of legion for this guy but at least it's a pretty good mold to base things off of so until next time this has been my review of the deluxe class premium bumblebee from the first movie toy line bye bye <laughs>